everyone, welcome back. So, another unboxing. Kind of already um, started without this. So, and I must admit, they're very, very well packed. And I was talking about these in the live stream. And it was actually a, a subscriber sort of put me on to them. So, probably look at them. Spear Jackson. Isaac um, and what it was guys is we we're talking about pointing shells and metal attacking. There's a metal attacker sitting here as well just to keep an idea and I can't even remember the name of the, the guy in the live stream so I'm not even going to have a guess because I'll get it wrong but he basically said the best arc tool, archaeology tool if you and we look here Close um, archaeology trail, four inch. Um, so that's that's just to be covers for the blades. You could probably hang them up and stuff. Probably the way to come to the shop if, you, if you're not getting it online. Um, open up both these here, bad boys. Now, first thing I noticed when I got them open. So, well, back to what I was saying, the subscriber put me onto them, as I was using a pointing trail that I use for my coin stones cutting out, and. Uh, so I wanted to get something better and I was kind of thinking of um, the knives and sort of things that are for digging, the meat digging knives um, but I had said to another guy on the live stream, another sort of metal detector guy and he said that when I mentioned point and trial he thought, why did he, had he never thought about it, he works in build sites as well but these here Putting these, I should have actually got my point and trial, but putting these up against the point and trial, it is in a previous video, I'll drop, I'll drop the live stream in a link to the description and a previous video where I actually show the wee point and trial that I do use, um, but straight away, if you come back any closer here, I'll show you, see that, that's very robust, straight away, I just know this straight away, you know, they're very, very stiff, so for digging and scraping, you know, they're going to be brilliant. I see that straight away and I know digging it in, getting out your coins, your buttons, your bullets, your musket balls, they're going to, once you have it pinpointed inside the hole, they're, they're going to be brilliant. So they are. Um, and I think I'm going to try and get out maybe Saturday and give them a try. Um, although I probably will fear with this one. Look how comfortable that is. Um, you know they're they're very robust and heavy, but you can't see like the chances that that's snapping and this cracking. Not sure if you can see that, but that's that's pretty thick. You know there's not much flex in it, which will be a good thing when you're digging in round stones or anything, popping them out. Um, but I'm I'm well impressed with them. Um, you know I I didn't think they'd be quite as robust, but they are definitely going to be. A cracking me tool for the metal detector and of course detailed work as well and um, it does say on the, the blade here as well if you can I'm sure the camera will pick this up and um, the writing of the plaster and, and building you can sort of make it out just just below the ties act um, but it does actually read that builders and plasters tools Solid Forge archaeology too, trial sorry, um, but you know I, I know things that are gonna last and they're gonna last. Um, so just thought of it, get that be unboxing done and I definitely am gonna get out and give. I can see that actually getting dirtier than that one though. This is my favorite handle of the two, but I could see mud maybe gathering. Plaster, mud depends what I'm doing with it, plaster and all metal detecting. But I can see things gathering on that, whereas that will be easier cleaned. So, you know, I'll give them both a try. Uh, and they'll be in my van for plaster and all metal detecting. So, just ha happy at that, guys. And hopefully, I get a bit of luck with these and find some nice things to show you all. So Brothers! What we do in life echoes in eternity.